Hi, I'm Supervisor Don Clavin. Our biologist teams at the Conservation of Waterways are working hard to purify the waters of the South Shore. Stay tuned for a great project. Hey, it's Steve Naham. I'm a conservation biologist here at the town's shellfish hatchery down at Point Lookout. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys uh, what we do here in the hatchery, how we culture our shellfish for restoration projects in Hempstead Bay. Right now we're in our algae culture room. We culture five different species of algae here. This is our continuous algae culture system. Each one of these is a 200 liter bag. This is the food supply for all of our broodstock and juvenile shellfish. All this provides all the uh, nutrition that our shellfish need and the way this room works is we're constantly pumping seawater from the bay into our system which then sterilizes the water and uh, feeds the algae system. At the same rate, sterile water is feeding into each one of these bags, concentrated algae is flowing out. And um, see down there at the other end we've got a little bucket set up with a float switch. So, that bucket fills up throughout the day, and once it gets full, we have a pump that then sends it over to the other room, and uh, we have a manifold that we have that we could direct the algae to wherever we need it. Right now, all the algae is feeding our conditioning uh, plant broodstock, which is over here. So this is our shellfish conditioning tank. These are our broodstock clams. These are the clams that we're interested in spawning this season. They've all been in this tank for about six weeks. And for them, it's like Thanksgiving every day here. They're feasting on all the algae that we're growing in the other room. They're getting tons of energy from all that food and nutrition. They're building up their, their gametes, their eggs. And um, after about six weeks, they're, they should be about ready to spawn. Now it's February here, it's Valentine's Day. Um, normally, it's too cold in nature for, for clams to spawn out in the wild. So what we're doing is, Right now we're trying to spawn them in our spawning tank and we're trying to trick them into thinking that it's early summertime. Uh, and I'll show you our spawning tank over here and how that works. So we have a, a heater set up in here right now. We started this tank off at about 20 degrees Celsius and we're, we're heating it up to 30 degrees over time. So within a couple hours, uh, the, the temperature should go up about 10 degrees Celsius and then we'll, we'll bounce it around between 20 and 30 and hopefully trick them into thinking that it's early summer and that typically tricks them into uh, releasing their, their sperm and egg. Once they do, um, we'll take each spawning clam out and put it into its own beaker. We'll fill these up with, uh, with male and female clams and then we can fertilize and hatch the eggs out in our larvae culture room. This is the town's uh, larvae culture room. After we fertilize the eggs, they'll hatch out in these conical tanks. These are called larvae conicals. The, the juvenile clams, the, the larval clams, they'll spend about 10 days to two weeks uh, swimming around in these tanks. Eventually they'll metamorphosize and they'll set. After they set, we can then move them into our nursery. We're not there yet. We're still a couple weeks away, so stay tuned. <laughs> 